It's winter. It's undeniably winter. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I think of winter, it always makes me think of the holidays. Makes me think of giving gifts. Makes me think of the cold. Makes me think of snow. Makes me think of sweet and spicy. And no, I'm not just talking about myself. The frags that I choose have a nice little bit of sweetness, nice little bit of spice. It's also time for adult beverages. The deeper, darker. The whiskey. The American rye. The American bourbon. I have six fragrances for you that are rich. Something that I am not. And I have three fantastic American whiskeys. Everything that I'm presenting to you today will not break your bank, but it will have you smelling like a million bucks and you most definitely will enjoy every sip. I am Brandon, and this of course is Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well, stinking pretty. It's winter of 21 slash 22. Within these six fragrances, there's quite a few uh, mainstream designers, but I even threw a nice kick-ass independent house at you. Let's quit screwing around. Here's fragrance number one. Literally starting out with the least expensive fragrance on this list, this is a nice sexy gourmand that goes the distance. That's right, Ragba from Latafa, 100 milliliter bottle, 1995. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance that you cannot shake a stick at for that price. I mean, come on. It's fuzzy and it's warm, it's spicy with some vanilla, nice little kind of a woolen type texture, perfect for cold weather snuggling. But this thing goes a long, long way, much deeper than just those warm, woody, spicy notes. This kind of gets you by the feels. And for that price, what is not to love? Ragba from Latafa. Next up is a timeless classic that is marketed towards women, but it is unisex as hell. Shalimar is citrus. It's woods. It's resinous. It's vanillic. Slight little bit of animalic nuance that cuts the cold away. Has amazing structure. EDP, 50 mils, 50 bones. USD. Fellas, don't sleep on this, man. Seriously. Shalimar from Guerlain. First whiskey on this list is a reliable rye that is absolutely the gold standard in mixed cocktails, but has no problem standing on its own in a glass with some ice or neat. Love this stuff so much over the holiday. Ran out, of course. Uh, definitely always worth a backup bottle or two. 100 proof, bonded. That means bottled in bond. That means it's watched very closely. $24.95 per bottle, at least in the state of Oregon. The nose is kind of dry with the woods. Nice little rye spice. It definitely has a kick to it being 100 proof. Stout and spicy on the palate. Hints of citrus and of course that dryness carries over to the flavor. I can quite honestly say, if you are going to own one bottle of rye in your liquor cabinet, this is the one to have. Rittenhouse Rye. Third fragrance coming up is the highest price tag on this list, but it still comes in at under a hundred bucks. Blue de Chanel, EDP, it has that citrus, has that ginger, has that pepper. All those things give it a nice brightness. Resinous notes throughout. Everything gets nicely tempered with some sandalwood and some tonka. All-purpose, crowd-pleasing, gorgeous little number. Wear this anywhere. Dressing up, wear it at the gym, wear it for couch snuggles, wear it going out to get burgers. Blue de Chanel from Chanel. It's the EDP. Popping in at number four for fragrances is a wonderfully easy to find cheapy that won't have you smelling cheap. What can I say about Burberry London? It is a top notch mainstream fragrance. You can find it on discounters for 100 ml bottles for like $37. 
Citrus lift with a nice cinnamon spice throughout the life of the fragrance melds with the woody, tobacco, and leather notes. Lavender is in there somewhere to me, giving it a little bit of soapiness, but it leaves you with a nice fresh clean feeling even throughout all those wonderful rich spices. Been around for a while, but don't be afraid to give it a try. Burberry, London. That brings us to our next whiskey. In this case, it's a bourbon, and you cannot get any more Kentucky standard than this. Woodford Reserve is absolutely wonderful, absolutely amazing. I friggin' love this stuff. As a matter of fact, I love it so much, I get personally made uh, placards. Check this one out. The nose is dry oak, vanilla, sweetness, a little bit of a, a citrus, like a sweetened citrus. The taste is definitely all of those things that you get in the nose, but it also gives you a nice little hint of maple, nice little hint of tobacco. I cannot suggest Woodford Reserve Bourbon enough. Fantastic whiskey for the winter, fantastic whiskey for any time. And this comes in at $33.95 a bottle. I promised you an indie house. I'm giving you an indie house, probably my favorite indie house. If you're looking to break into the indie fragrance game, look no further than January Scent Project. Smolder Rose, 30 mil bottle, 65 USD. From the absolutely creative mind of John Beeble, Smolder Rose is pretty much as the name suggests. It's rose, but it's smoky. It's resinous, there's saffron, there's some oud, and there's seashells. Oh hell yeah, that's what I said. Seashells. I don't know how he does it. I don't know what's going on with it. But you can absolutely get that texture of of seashell of like a smoked or burnt up or you know fired up heated seashell it's pretty crazy it's not as crazy as it sounds oh dude yeah just just juicy and fruity almost has a nice little bit of apple to it don't sleep on january scent project and if you love rose fragrances check out smolder rose Sixth and final, another one from Guerlain. These guys put out some amazingly high quality fragrances. Loam Ideal EDP from Guerlain. The 100 ml bottle will set you back 70 USD. I got three words. I got three words for you. Cherry, almond, tobacco. I mean, that's it. That's it. I'm done. No, but seriously, it's fantastic. It's sexy as hell. Love this, especially in the winter. Just ticks all the boxes for a beautiful winter fragrance. Check it out, Loma Ideal EDP. Last whiskey coming out. Uh, when in doubt, let's get toasted. Basil Hayden Toast, oof. Fantastic, 80 proof, so it's a little lighter than your standard whiskey. 49.95 in the state of Oregon for this bottle. To my knowledge, this is a seasonal release. Really don't know if you can pick it up any other time of the year other than like the fall and winter. I barely got my mitts on this, so I was really glad that I did. This is easy sipping AF, guys. On the nose, vanilla and caramel are very well pronounced, but there is also a nice little almond finish. I highly suggest you sip this neat or on ice, you get this nice spice, you get that toast quality, the barrels that they use, they give it a toast as opposed to just charring. The oak does come through, but with that toasted um, thing that they do, it does not come through nearly as dry as most bourbons tend to. Great addition to the liquor cabinet, toasted from Basil Hayden. Well, my beautiful friends, that is it. I hope I have piqued your interest with some of these choices. This certainly won't be my last video of winter fragrances and adult beverages for the winter. 
I will be putting out another video, some, uh, some slightly more elevated choices in the next one. I hope that you guys can come and watch that one as well. And thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you're not subscribed, do so now. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for the like. Mash the shit, kill the shit out of the notification bell. Check out the description down below for links to my Kofi accounts. Please stay warm. Please make sure that you're taking care of yourselves and each other, drinking responsibly, spraying responsibly. No matter what you do, no matter where you're going, no matter what the season, don't forget to keep calm, stink pretty, drink well, and I'll see you on the next video. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, boy. Know that the ride or die. Oh, boy. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. I really can't stay. Oh, baby, it's cold outside.